Hey guys, this is Max from cityverbalwalks.com and I want to take a few minutes of your time to share a few helpful tips about using the subway. So, first things off, the subway is the best way to get around if you're visiting New York City. Obviously, there's yellow taxis and there's Uber and Lyft, but the cost can add up very quickly and you might end up wasting a lot of your time sitting in traffic. With the subway, you swipe in, you can go as far as you want with one flat rate and it's a very affordable rate. It's about $2.75 a ride if you purchase multiple rides. So in this video, I want to show you how to buy a MetroCard, how to pick the direction you need, and how to swipe in, and to give you a little bit more comfort in using the subway when you come here. One important thing to note, if you're using a typical station that is not a massive transit hub like this one behind me, you have to be careful with choosing the right side of the street. And so in this particular case, if you enter here, you're heading in the direction of downtown. So in our case, we want to head to uh, Washington Square, and right now we're in Chelsea, so we're going to head downtown. Uh, so follow me, we're going to buy a MetroCard and swipe in. All right, guys, so the next step is actually buying the MetroCard. Every station has vending machines like these, and the first decision you have to make is are you buying a regular MetroCard or are you buying an unlimited one? If you're here for at least a few days and you plan to use the subway multiple times a day, you may want to consider getting a seven-day unlimited. Otherwise, just get a regular MetroCard, follow the prompt, and put a, a dollar amount on it that you can always add to later. So for example, two rides is $5.50, plus they charge you a dollar for the card. So you could use that as a basis. $5.50 is two rides per person. You click start, you select your language, you click MetroCard, and then you would say get new card. If you end up running out of money later, you could always click refill your card on the same prompt. So I'm going to say get new card, regular MetroCard, and I'm going to choose 550, which will give me two rides. Then I can choose to pay with cash or use a credit card. I'm going to say credit card. And at this point, you would enter your credit card right here. It's going to ask you for your zip code. This is a very important point. If you're not from the US, do not enter your zip code. Just press the enter key. If you are visiting from a, somewhere in the United States, you would just enter your zip code. So it's saying you're going to be charged $6.50. That's $5.50 for the rides and $1 for a new card. And then at that point, just click OK and you're done. So the next step is critical. This is where we're actually going to swipe in and get onto a subway car. Uh, the machines uh, next to me are not the most user friendly, so you want to get the swiping speed and technique just right. So hold the card uh, in the middle, uh, holding it from the top, and make sure you swipe with the black stripe facing you and facing down. So follow me, we're going to try it together. The idea of riding the subway on your own is still intimidating. Get in touch with us at cityroverwalks.com and we can set up a customized private tour for you and your family or a group of friends or colleagues and we can ride the subway together.